quantitative and or qualitative social science data for your research? If so, SESDA's data catalog may be able to help you find what you need. Today I'd like to show you how to search for archived social science datasets using the SESDA data catalog. SESDA, which stands for the Consortium of European Social Science Data Archives, built the SESDA data catalog to be a data discovery portal with detailed descriptions of data collections for social science research. Many European data archives are adding to the catalog, making it a valuable tool for researchers looking to access archived data. In this video, I will introduce you to how the catalog works, how to narrow your search results using filters and special characters, and how to access the data using links that take you to the data archiving hosting that data set. By the end of this video, you should feel confident using the catalog to find the data you need. To use the SESTA data catalog, go to datacatalog.sesta.eu. When you arrive at the SESTA data catalog, you will find a simple search bar at the top. Studies are listed in the panel below. For each study, you can see a title, a part of the description, and if you'd like to see the rest of the study description, simply hover over the entry and select the Read More option. Just above the list of studies, you can find ways to organize the results, including options to adjust the number of results per page and to sort the results by relevance, title, and date. On the left, you can find filters to further refine your search. When you click on a study, you go to the full catalog entry, which includes detailed information about the study. For example, for this Swedish public opinion survey from 2017, we can see the data were collected at the University of Gothenburg. We also see the study DOI and an abstract. The methodology section gives us the data collection period, along with details about the sample and units of analysis. Scrolling down, we can also find details about access to the data. So, for example, we can see the data comes from the Swedish data service. You can also see an overview of the topic areas related to the study. Back at the top, a Go to Study option will take you to where the data is located, which in this case we already know is the Swedish National Data Service. To the left of the study description, you can also find a list of similar results, a feature that is useful for identifying collections from the same series or alternative data sources. The catalog allows you to quickly and easily filter and narrow down your search results. Back in the main catalog search page, we have several filters to help us narrow down our results. These include the options to filter by topic, by time period of data collection, and by country. You can also combine filters and select several options within each filter. You can narrow your search further by using special characters to perform Boolean searches. For instance, you can use a plus sign to search for the presence of two search terms. For example, I can search for environment plus protest. Just click on the advanced search option for details of all the characters you can use with a catalog. Let's demonstrate with an example. In this example, I'm interested in searching for data relating to the environment. Using that search term gives me more than 3,000 results. I first narrow the search by years of collection. Let's say I'm interested in data collected from 1980 onwards. I select this by using the sliding bar, or I can type into the boxes below. Let's say I'm interested in finding data for Finland. Moving to the country filter, I click in the search box, and I can simply type the relevant country name, and select. Once I have selected one option, I can then add another by repeating the steps. For instance, I might also want to look at data for Sweden. I have now narrowed my search to 500 studies. From my search results, I see a recent ISSP study contains data for at least one of the countries I'm interested in. I see a mention of the environment in the short description. I click on the study title to get the full catalog entry. The abstract indicates there were many questions about the environment. Having decided this data seems suitable for my research, I click on the Go to Study option. Clicking the link opens a new tab in my browser. This takes me to the Host Archives website. From this point forward, I will need to follow the instructions for accessing data at the Host Archive. Access policies and procedures vary across archives and across datasets. Most often, you will be able to download data after a simple registration process. 
However, you might come across open data sets that require no registration, and access to other data sets might require additional steps. In this video, you have learned about the SESTA Data Catalog, a tool for finding social science data archived across European data archives and infrastructures. The catalog works through a straightforward search function and has options to sort and filter results. As the SESTA Data Catalog is still being populated with information about data sources, we also recommend that you look directly at the most relevant archives. You can find information and links to individual data archives across Europe on the SESTA website, and also more about SESTA, social science data, related news, and upcoming events at SESTA.eu. This video is produced by the Consortium of European Social Science Data Archives. For more information on SESTA, please visit www.sesta.eu.